What's up guys, Skid Rampage here. So today we have first looks at about 30 new Funko Pops. So let's check it out. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you're having a wonderful day today. So we have some Funko news updates for you guys on some things we were talking about the other day and they did actually just leak and give us first looks. Now before we jump into all these new pops, we do have our question of the day and that is, do you have a Funko Bob in your collection that is holding a microphone and I'm gonna go with B Rabbit. Alrighty guys, so I'm gonna be sharing these over from a nerdy dad on Instagram, so thank you so much to them. So jumping right into things, first up, a look at these new Deadpool Pops. Well, at least a glam shot look because we've already seen the actual Pops, but check this out. We do have Beauty Pageant Deadpool, Lederhose and Deadpool, Bowling Deadpool, Heavy Metal Deadpool, Sleepover, and Taurus there. And here's a look at them in real time, guys. Definitely some cool ones here. Moving on, we do have glam shot looks at the new WWE wave here. So check this out. We do have The Rock, Stone Cold, Steve Austin, and Hulk Hogan WrestleMania moment. We also have Braun Strowman, Kurt Angle, Rowdy Roddy Piper, Shotzi, Hulk Hogan, and the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. And on the right there are actually first looks back from New York Toy Fair last year. So a lot of people are actually having... Uh, questions about that Bray Wyatt in the back. Given as to what happened, it is possible maybe Funko pulled it for a second just to kind of see what WWE or the family or whatever wanted to do with it, or it could now be an exclusive somewhere. No word on that one just yet, but stay tuned for now. And just as a quick reminder for you guys, here's a couple exclusives that we could maybe see announced with that WWE wave in a couple days, including the Hurricane, Sami Zayn, and Rikishi there. Moving on for any Galaxy Quest fans, we do have looks at three brand new pops, and we should be getting at least one exclusive. So check this out, we do have Jason there, Fred, and Sir Alexander. I don't personally really know too much about this. I think it's a movie, but let me know in the comments below if you're excited. Next, for Goodfellas, we have three new pops. So we have Henry Hill, Tommy DeVito, and Jimmy Conway there. And we're expected to have at least one exclusive of Polly. For Michael Jackson fans, here's glam shots of pops that we saw back at New York Toy Fair. So two brand new ones here. This one's a pretty fun one from the Simpsons line. We do have official looks at Mr. Sparkle Homer Simpson here. So this one's going to be a Diamond Collection previews exclusive. And I think it turned out pretty well. I don't really watch a lot of The Simpsons anymore, but I thought this one was kind of funny. And it does seem like a lot of people do like this one, and I do have a feeling that Wasatch Pop is gonna be very, very excited for this one. More animation here, we do have first looks at the next South Park wave here. So in this new wave, we do have Timmy and Gobbles, Wonder Tweak, Farmer Randy, Chef, Satan, and Mr. Mackey with the sign. I think the funniest one here is that Satan Pop. It's like, he looks so weird in pop form, like that weird build he has. That is hilarious. I think this is definitely one of the better South Park waves for sure. I don't personally collect a lot of South Park, but I can definitely appreciate the designs on these. Now for Pokemon fans, we did have an official glam look at the Pokemon starter set moment here. So this one was already hitting box lunch stores and you might even be able to find it in your local one, but I don't think they got too much stock. But don't worry, the official announcement day will be Wednesday anyway, so you can pre-order it online if you do want it. For My Hero Academia fans, we have first looks at the next wave and some new characters. So check this out, we do have Dobby there, Redestro using his quirk, which I was a little surprised that they did that. I thought it was going to be a simple pose, but that one turned out pretty cool. Ochako in her upgraded suit, Mirko there in a kicking pose, another Bakugo. Doesn't really look too crazy great in the box. Can't wait to see out of box glam, so. Then we have Tomura in the chair as a deluxe, and a Mirko and Toga pocket pop keychain. So I actually wanted to take a closer look at a couple of these. So the Dobby in the glam here looks much different than the Toy Fair pop that we did actually see. And I'm assuming the Toy Fair was just like a pre-mold thing, a concept thing, obviously, uh, because the flames did not look really great. What I'm hoping for is that the flames look like they do in the glam shot here versus what we saw at Toy Fair. Another one I wanted to take a look at was Mirko here. So some people actually have issues with her molding around her legs. They feel it looks a little weird. I think it looks very weird solely because of the... Um, it's like an airstream, I guess, they put behind her leg that, that you can see the kicking motion, essentially. And it's definitely an interesting choice there. I feel it does make it look slightly weird. And I guess people also feel like the legs are just kind of like 
I don't know. I think the pose is just bothering people. I personally think it looks fine. I think it looks great. She's always like kicking something. So um, I think it's perfect for her pop. I do think this is one of those pops that we need to see out of box glams as well as the final product to kind of make a full determination as to how we feel about it. Either way though, I'm going to be picking up Mirko because definitely excited to have her. So for Redestro here, I was actually kind of impressed that they decided to use his quirk. I believe it's stressed there. So you do have the kind of enlarged hand there, which is really cool. And it's kind of like, throwing away debris in the side there, making a cool little base stand. So again, this one turned out much better than I thought it was because this is just a character I do not care for. Oh, and I wanted to add in this comparison as well, which is Tomura, the deluxe sitting in the chair there. So on the left there, you can see he looks rather small in that box. And on the right there, I will say he definitely looked a little smaller there. So I guess they're continuing doing the deluxe quote unquote pops in a smaller form. It's just so weird that they label them as deluxe and they're sometimes as tall as regular pops. Overall though, for the concept itself, I think it does look pretty good. I don't know if I'm going to be picking it up myself, but I can appreciate that it does look nice. But at the same time, I don't really feel that we needed a Tomura pop of him just kind of chilling and sitting there. But hey, people seem to really enjoy the Togo one where she's lounging on the beanbag chair and eating sushi, so what do I know, I guess. I am a little more curious about this one though and how people feel about this design and how you guys feel about the pop overall. Will you be grabbing this or passing on it? As far as the rest of them, I don't really care to own another Bakugo unless this one like looks really great in person because I already have the SDCC one signed by the voice actor. So I don't think I need the new Bakugo or Ochako personally because I also have the Ochako SDCC pop, which I'm perfectly fine with. Even though her upgraded suit does look really nice. I just, I don't really collect a lot of My Hero pops anymore. I got rid of like, 90% of the collection just about so I'm gonna be very very picky as to which ones I pick up but let me know in the comments below how do you guys feel about this new wave and is there any here that you will be picking up and the last thing for my hero academia was two more possible exclusives including all might texas smash rumored to be a Funko Shop exclusive, as well as that Tomura laughing there. And Bakugo was the previews one that we just saw. Alrighty guys, so a quick recap here. We should be seeing an official announcement of everything I just showed off in the video coming this Wednesday. So that's when you'll be able to pre-order everything. On top of that, we should also see some exclusives that I was kind of mentioning throughout the video announced that day as well. So for now, stay tuned for what's to come, but let me know in the comments below what you're most excited about. And make sure to be following me on Instagram and Twitter because I'll be posting when these do go live for pre-order. With that being said, I do wanna thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit that like button down below if you did enjoy and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do wanna say a big shout out to all the wonderful patrons for of the channel. You guys are amazing for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys are interested and wanna check out the page on the link is down below. We have a patron only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And and lastly, make sure to be following me on all my social medias at Skinner Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.